and this is only a partial list, you understand, but another thing that you will get to as part of a message, and it's a very important part of a message that you'll get to, and these are not born in a minute or a day, so some time will be required to ultimately get to a great one, but you will get to the answer to the single most important question anybody's going to ask you as long as you're in business. Here's the question. And if you don't jot anything else down, jot this down, take it home, put it on a 4 by 6 card, stick it up in front of you where you see it all the time. Because it's a useful question. It's a useful question to ask yourself every day. Why should I, your prospective customer, client, or patient, choose to do business with you versus any and every other option available to me, which includes doing nothing? Any and every other option available to me, why should I, so Rob has to answer, you know, why shouldn't I invest in stocks? Why shouldn't I invest in bonds? Why shouldn't I just go find the property on my own? There's a list of like 50 options if I want to own real estate. So why should I do business with you versus any and every other option available to me? When you have a great answer to this question as part of your marketing message, you have the golden key to the vault. Everything changes. It's an enormous accelerator okay? because your business is now about something. Your business is for somebody. You have a message that sticks in people's minds that means something to them. The best example still of a great unique selling proposition of our time uh, come, came from uh, two uh, orphans who were trying to work their way through college uh, by having taken over a failing business on the edge of campus which the plan was one would run it during the day, the other one run it at night. One go to college during the day, the other night they'd swap during semesters, they'd sleep on cots in the back room, they'd keep all the money. This is how they'd get through school. Shortly into this plan, the business is continuing to hemorrhage money. The one partner bailed out on the other, left, um, made one of the worst financial decisions uh, of modern times. For his half of the business, he took their old pitted out Volkswagen bug in trade and drove off into the sunset. The one who hung around determined to make it work uh, came up with a USP. I think it's eight words. Changed his business, his life, and his industry. It was fresh hot pizza delivered in 30 minutes or less, guaranteed. Now that unique selling proposition was so powerful, it put dominoes on everybody's speed dial. It, revel it caught him up, took this college kid with this crummy failing business, quickly put them on the fast track. Pretty soon entrenched companies like Pizza Hut are trying to figure out what happened and are trying to catch them or buy them. Made him a wealthy, wealthy fellow. Great unique selling proposition. Analyze it just for a minute. Fresh hot pizza delivered in 30 minutes or less guaranteed. Well, first of all, what's really important to notice is there's no mention of good pizza. Doesn't say that. There's no mention of Mamba's recipe from the old country. There's no none of that. It says it's fresh and it's hot. It doesn't say it's good. See, there's truth in advertising because we all know there's better pizza, right? And if you call Domino's for a pizza, even today, you ain't calling them because it's the best pizza in 10 square miles around your house. You're calling them for one simple reason. They're going to get it there somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 minutes. That had to kind of get fuzzied a little bit because too many Domino's guys were driving over dogs and slow, mo slow moving people and you know it's a legal problem. But uh, now this USP grew out, this USP, let me tell you something else about this USP <coughs> that'll help you find one. And it loops back to what we talked about before. This USP was market driven. What I mean by market driven. The original Domino's and then the first few locations after that were all located on the edge of college campuses. There's, on college campuses, there are these things called dormitories. In them are condensed populations, so a lot of people who could eat stuff, all packed into a small geographic territory. A bunch of them smoke this funny stuff, which makes them real, real hungry for carbs and incapable of going out and getting them on their own. It's either speed dial or nothing, all right? So this was a market-driven, unique selling proposition. 
30 minutes or less is a meaningful specific, a guarantee is risk reversal. Our mar all marketing strategies, all Glazer Kennedy strategies you'll get from familiar with. When you have a great unique selling proposition as part of your marketing message, you got the key to the vault. So this issue of message is an extremely important breakthrough.